What's up, everyone? Uh, engine is out. You can see. Corrosion. Yeah, we know. Remove all the stuff. It's a very. This is one hell expensive scratch off. I'm surprised this thing doesn't come out with all the water. Oh yeah. We're ready to show you guys about those holes that needs to be gone. I'm gonna remove all that. This thing still works. But oh uh, that should be gone very soon. But, so is the project. So, uh, we're gonna remove all the suspension parts, control arms. If you can see it. They are no bueno. Like, really bad. Look at this thing. It's a cracker. Also, that one right there. No bueno. Yeah, I know what are you guys gonna say. Why are you keep trying to restore if everything's fucked up? Well, you know what? Because we can. Part of the process. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna start removing the uh, front suspension. And we should have just the frame now. And then, when we're done with that, well, actually, then we're gonna be working on that guy right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. But you guys know, fire car. All right, so I'm gonna go into hyperlapse. So, uh, what we're gonna do here, I gotta cut the uh, brake line. You can see that thing's not moving, but we hope it will. Uh, we're gonna remove the uh, sway bar link here. Uh, we're gonna cut this in half. I don't really wanna waste my time trying to play with it. So we're gonna remove that and that bolt right there. If not, then we're gonna remove that on top and then uh, instead of me messing around with the bent control arm what we're gonna do is remove one two three four and five and that one right there and all these assembles should just dropped because we just need a clean frame to start removing parts and reweld parts. So that's what we're gonna do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. For now. But you guys know what I mean. Here you can see me. Loosen the bolts and nuts from the driver's side section of the suspension prior to me dropping the front subframe.
All right, so let me fix this. So far, what I'm doing right now is the uh, removal of the whole assembly. So remove those two bolts, three bolts, sway bar, it's loose. Uh, 17, 17. This one I have to remove. This one came out with everything. So, oh well. Uh, out. I'm gonna cut this wheel speed sensor. And the only thing that I have problem with is problems with is that one. It's supposed to be a 19. It's not even moving. We're already at like 17 minus. And um, I'm tired of working on it. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, where did it go? My friend right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a Dremel, cut it, uh, punch the bolt out, and remove the whole assembly, drop the car, uh, so, All the upper and lower control arms, everything's just gonna drop. So um, I'm gonna lower the car. I put a little strap so when I when I'm finished uh, cutting the the alignment bolt, then everything's gonna drop in one piece. So trying to prevent that. I also don't want to damage the floor. Uh, so yeah. That we're gonna do so we're going to hyperlapse see you after a long day in the garage i was able to drop the driver's side front section of the suspension after that i went home and got some rest since we all have a long day ahead of us trying to clear the front section of the car as well as the remaining of the small interior harness and the rear driver and passenger side quarter panels. <laughs> I feel more that than anything else. Dude, this is the heaviest fucking sub ever. Feel that. <laughs> it's so heavy. We'll send that to Brian K. Okay, this harness is ready to come out. On your side. Oh my gosh. The rust. Here you can see Jay and myself removing the last harnesses from the front of the car so we can transfer to the back of the car and remove the rear struts and quarter panels so we can take the car outside and start power washing it potentially for the last time
He didn't come down with me, so it just twisted right in my finger. I was like, ah! Well, I thought we were gonna like get it off and then do one of those. Sorry. Oh yeah. After we removed the driver and passenger side quarter panels, we decided to start vacuuming the back and the interior of the car before we take it outside and start a long day of power washing. The entrance to our garage is in an incline, so we had to put a couple 2x4s in front of our dollies to prevent the chassis from rolling. What's up guys? Uh, we are pretty close to be done with the first stage of the uh, restoration of the car. So we pretty much removed everything out of it, just have a couple bolts, uh, and we are doing uh, I would like to say the final power wash on the car. Probably not true, because uh, by now we've done it like more than 30 times and there's still more mud coming out of the car. But here, let me show you. As you guys can see, a lot of progress on the car. Uh, next step is gonna be uh, vapor blasting the car and uh, chemical dipping, but that's not gonna work very well. We work with one of the companies, or we actually spoke to one of the companies that was supposed to help us out and they cannot uh, chemical dip aluminum even though it was a previous conversation we had with a couple companies that they offered their service. After we told them that the NSX was actually made of aluminum, they told, they told us that uh, they couldn't help us out. So what we're gonna do is uh, vapor blast in the car, get everything clean, uh, decontaminate the chassis, so we can start uh, taking apart some of the uh, sections of the A-pillar that they are not in good shape and start the welding process and then after that, it should be uh, easy peasy. Uh, but stay tuned, 
we are gonna dissect the engine on the next episode uh, but yeah thanks for liking comment and please subscribe peace warning the following part of this video is gonna be mainly jay and i power washing the car the whole day After spending most of the day power washing this car, it looked like we didn't wash it at all. There is still more dirt, shells, and rocks coming out for every single corner of the car. We are really considering putting this car in a rotisserie so we can start turning it upside down and release all the mud that is stuck inside of the back of the car. Since we found out that we cannot chemical dip this car safely, since it's made of aluminum, we're gonna have to find different ways of cleaning the car and decontaminate the metal so we can start welding the A pillars from the fire NSX into the Lognex NSX. If you made it this far on the video, thank you very much. We really appreciate everyone's support to the channel. Please consider watching the rest of the videos as well as liking and subscribing to support our channel. Thank you very much and don't forget to watch our next episode where we are going to be dissecting the engine that's been sitting underwater for 16 years.